Hello all, I have a project I wanted to work on um, because I'm really excited about this uh, new 3D printer I, I've got and um, I'm running into a little bit of an issue with uh, my workout routine. Um, currently I have a lot of weights that are just sitting on the ground and it's not easy to vacuum around them. So what I want to do for my next project is make a new weight rack. This is one I made a while ago. Uh, I could put one big weight and then two small weights on the bottom. Now I had one small weight and two medium weights there. Uh, but this has become a little bit uh, small in comparison to the weights I have right now. And I wanted to make a rack that could actually fit most of that. Yeah? All right. So I really wanted to make this uh, weight rack a little bit bigger. Uh, I wanted it to be able to hold six weights so instead of just the three um which means i have to uh <laughs> think about something that works this big with a 3d printer also something i really want to get going with this printer is having uh it print like how i printed this and that was with a one millimeter nozzle the one millimeter nozzle is way different game than your your normal 0.4 so I'm gonna have to do a lot of tests to make this work just right. But uh, at the end of the day, I should be able to print something like this in about two days once I have my settings all put together. Usually something this big printed will take about a week or more. Um, and I really wanna reduce that. I did some sketch work on the side uh, for the design that I wanna do this in. This is a little bit um, not super fine, so I was thinking about doing something that was a little bit more, I don't know, cathedral-esque. We'll see how that goes. I did some sketches, um, and I think they came out, eh, they came out rudimentary, but uh, I think I'll, I got some, uh, I think that's the design I'm interested in. And I think this is the structure sort of thing I'm interested in. So doing something a little bit more along the lines of having two bottom pillars instead of one giant thing at the bottom and I'm gonna have to make them filleted. Uh, but I kind of like the triangular shape so that I can deal with a lot of the weight because I'm thinking about having this print support uh, about 150 to uh, 175 pounds, uh, and it's just plastic. So I have to really think in engineering terms in order for, for this to work properly. Um, this one worked just fine. The little one for doing the 15 pound weights, it was just 30 um, pounds or like 40 pounds with the 10 pound on top. Uh, so it really didn't have to deal with too much. Uh, except when I had the really big stuff on there. So I am going to go ahead and beef this puppy up. Solid plan. Let's go. All right. So the printing is finally done. Um, I had some issues with the filament runout sensor. So I had some uh, uh, reprints I had to do whenever it just randomly stopped. Um, so I made the modification to the filament runout sensor, but I still had to do these uh, four separate prints in order to make this thing. So um, it took about two and a half rolls of filament. Those are these, completely empty. All right, so let's clean this thing up and put it together. Ayo. Alrighty, so I finished uh, putting, uh, or getting all the pieces cleaned up. I uh, didn't remove the raft from all these pieces because it's just a, a utilitarian build. Um, it's got some cosmetic differences between the different parts, um, but overall I think it should fit together really well. Now I just gotta glue it together and uh, yeah, it might come out really nice. I like this sort of buttressy looking stuff that's happening on the interior. I might wanna decrease the speed um, or mess with it that way because I'm having some uh, issues with that with uh, some of my parts sort of 
It's all good. Having some of these parts sort of not really work as well together. Now that this thing is falling apart, I'm gonna glue it together and uh, with some super glue and maybe do a little bit of cleanup work and then I should be ready to have some uh, lunch or make some dinner. Alrighty. Alrighty, so I think I have it all put together. I'm going to uh, undo this and take off the few weights I put on just to uh, make it a little bit tighter for the glue. <clears throat> But I think it's all glued and it's about as set as it can be. I added a couple of things to it. So I have this overall form. I added the little thingies here to hold the wakes. Um, so I have my buttress. It didn't line up perfect right there, but that's fine. I think it looks better than just not doing anything uh, for that area. I also added this sort of pattern. I put two lines on the bottom for the weight to actually go to, and I have stuff in all the corners so it doesn't scratch up my floor. All right. So now I'm going to put all the weights on over there. And let's hope that it works. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. All right, guys. Um, Apparently my mic didn't work so well last time, uh, so I'm just gonna redo this. So, weight rack, 100% done, it's all put together. Uh, I don't think I wanna paint it because I kinda like all these 3D printed uh, edifices. Anyway, so I am going to uh, put my weights on and uh, well, I've already done it. Um, it doesn't crack or it doesn't groan or moan whenever the weights, weight, weights are on there too much. So. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put these things on. These are my 40 pound weights. Uh, they are going on the bottom one. I wish I made the hands area just a little bit bigger. I think I made it a little bit bigger for my uh, other one. Then I have my 30 pounds. And then I got my little 20s. And that is my little weight rack. It's about 100 and, uh, was it 170, 180 pounds? Yeah, that's it all put together. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, build. It's been uh, a lot of rolls of film and a little bit of time, but I think it it's uh, it's all together and it's functional. Cleans up my little floor space here, uh, so I can do my workouts with a little bit more clean uh, nature to it. You know, make everything nicer. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the build, and I will see you guys next time.